this is just not my week for schooling. Actually, and it's supposed to be the first fucking week. And someone left the hall light on. See that right there? That was weird. Anyways, um, so it all started last semester. I was able to register for classes. However, I was they weren't paid for because I have a grant and it pays um, half of it per semester. And it only pays for spring and spring and fall, which really sucks. I would like to go during the summer too because I'm doing nothing productive. It's just stupid shit. And figured, why not vlog about it? Let's see what my school problems are. You know, since I wanted to vlog while I was in school, Hello, couch. Hello, beautiful jacket. Anyways, um, okay, so they didn't get their money, and I was like, okay, I guess I have to wait for this, and then I got an email saying, like, you can view your financial information stuff, and I was like, oh, great, I got the other half for the spring, and so, hold on, and, um, I have to get all my thoughts together. I just woke up. After reading my emails, I'm like, oh, shit. And anyways, I thought maybe I wasn't able to register for classes. Then I read some bullshit saying, like, your student status prevents registration. I'm like, what the fuck does this mean? Here it turns out because I got admitted last semester, but it was a little late. And so I, um, I was kind of rushing to do stuff, but it was just, like, really bad timing. So I wasn't able to class this. Anyways, it was because I didn't register for classes last semester. I wasn't able to get them. I was unable to register for some reason. I don't, I don't know what that was. So I had to call this person, or I had to call, like, the registration office. And I called them last Monday, telling them, hey, can you fix this? And the guy was like, sure, it should only take a few days keep note of the few days. Now, a few days, people normally think, like, I don't know, between um, two to four? I don't know. I think that's an average amount. Anyways, it, it Friday, I'm like, okay, the shit still isn't fixed. So I call again, and the guy, and, and, uh, the guy who answered said, okay, I called the office. They say it should be done by today. He lied. I waited waited until Tuesday because Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day so like you know nobody's gonna be at doing any business involving schools on Martin Luther King Jr. Day so I called Tuesday and the lovely lady who answered finally got it done it was a long wait hearing really shitty MIDI music on being on wait but it like you know like oh she did it she did it I was like thank you Bless you, woman. And, yeah. What's today? Okay, it's only Wednesday. See, I forgot. This was only yesterday. Oh, God. So, anyways, I'm like, yes, I can get classes. So, then I look. It wasn't there before, but it said, you have hold against your account. And I'm like, fuck! Turns out it's orientation, which I already did orientation. But I guess they're like, no, you have to do orientation till you get back into classes. I'm like, fuck. Then there's the um, advisement, which I think you have to do every semester. I'm not sure, but I'm just like, oh, fuck. At least, you know, the advisor for, I have to go to the College of Fine Arts because I'm an art studio major. And um, well, the lead guy who does for the the art majors, you know, he's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty chill. He's very awesome. Um, when I saw him, he, you know, really talked me through, like, my, um, major options, and, you know, there was one where he was like, you know, like, oh, this one might be more relevant, but it wasn't exactly, and there were a lot of classes where it was just like, you know, like, I just want to get through this as much as possible, and so he realized that I was best for this other major that I felt comfortable with, too, and, you know, we worked that out, and it was really cool. And so, yeah, I forgot his name, though. It's a very awkward name, though, so. <laughs> but 
All right, so I got to fix those this week. Um, my, I really wish I had a car. I really wish I had my own car. Um, I think the car, the only spare car we have left is a town's car, which is a huge vehicle. We, me and my mom nicknamed it the tank because she has a hard time driving it. And I, the only car that I have ever driven properly was, a, I think it was an, oh shit. And, oh, I can't remember. Explorer? I don't know. It's kind of a tinier vehicle. My stepdad had it. It was really great. And I, it was the first car I learned to drive with. But then um, my stepdad traded it for the tank. <laughs> so, sorry, a little bit of history there. I really wish I could drive myself over there. But the only problem is with, with me having a car is how the fuck am I going to pay for gas? Because I don't have a job. <laughs> I can't get a job unless I do this schooly bullshit. It's a horrible, vicious cycle of everything. Like, oh, get one problem fixed, get two more! <sighs> and, you know, the whole job, like, you know, can't get a job without experience, can't get experience without a job! I one time I actually called peop uh, an employer out on that, and they were like, they were just like, you know, it's a horrible routine. I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. Of course I did not get that job. Especially when they were like, you have to apply online, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, fuck you. I don't like applying online. It's awful. There's that horrible, like, testing, too, where they ask you so many double negative questions. And it's about situations. Like, I don't pretend to be nice if I don't want to. Like, you have to really take out one of those. And it's so stupid. Such bullshit. So, Yeah. No wonder I'm not done with school. There's so much bullshit going on with this. But, hey, I got free government money. Yay. <sighs> so, yeah, I had to fix those. Luckily, luckily, the advisors all pretty much have walk-ins for the rest of this week. And I just got to wait to sign up for orientation. Because, apparently, I had to get readmitted. And it takes 24 hours to process. Oh, I had to call the guy there. And I was like, can you help me out, dude? And he said, that's just all I had to do. I had to wait. I'm like, can't you do it yourself? Like, he's like, no, you have to do it. Like, ugh. Apparently, everything has to be done by... I think that's the other thing, too. Like, I love technology. I love using my computer. I love using my phone. Even, though, like, I love using this for everything. But, just... Can a person do something? Like, oh, God. Like, I don't know. It took me... Ugh like eight days to process that one thing and it's just oh I got so mad and then I got another email saying there's missing information for your financial aid and I'm like fuck you all oh like let me see if I could try to find it right now I just I'm so no Valentino let's see where is it fine let's see financial aid office missing information we're contacting you because we need some additional information to complete your 2013-2014 financial aid file. Once we get this documentation, you should be able to finalize your financial aid eligibility. Like, they just said I had the award! Ugh. Unsatisfied student requirements. Fuck you! Fuck all these schools! Jesus Christ! Ugh. I just want to go to school and get a degree! You know, maybe, probably end up working some stupid 9 to 5 job and then make, I don't know, comics on the side or write fiction. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh. oh, man. And as far as I could tell, this is just the American college university system. It's so awful. You know, as far as I can tell, you European dudes just have... You know, I think they, I think I read that they give you your classes and you don't pay until the end of the semester, which for me is like, oh, what the, what happened? What the fuck happened? Oh. <laughs> I need to get myself to Europe. <laughs> Actually, I would like to get to Europe, to Germany specifically. I don't know, it's just funny. All right. I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to make me some breakfast at 1 in the afternoon. Yeehaw! Bye. See you guys later.
So, I would look at the camera, but that light is right in my face. So, um, anyways, I got a call, like, like, 14 minutes ago, and it was right before I was going to start, um, editing this video, and, like, I was just like, oh my god, that's the UNM number. So, I answered, and it was a guy who actually, oh, that is bright, and the guy, uh, on the other end said, you know, like, you know, he actually sounded, like, concerned for me not having classes yet. And he's like, like, congratulations you on your admission. Like, yeah, it already happened last semester, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, it's, like, some really dumb shit. And, well, actually, he asked me about the two problems I was talking about. The orientation. God, this is horrible. Yeah, I'll look better up here. <laughs> and he was, like, telling me I could probably get that waived. And I'm like, whoa, that's so awesome. But I have to call and then... It basically, they have to say, like, you know, could I waive this since I already did it for the last semester? <sighs> It'd be great if I could do that. And also that I, I still have to see an advisor, but, you know, like, you know, I, you know, that's something I could have done in person. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to work on this right now. Like, oh my God, I just can't believe that actually happened. I was like, I was like, did they fucking know or something? Are they reading my tweets? I don't know. <laughs> I do complain about them a lot, though, but it's just good to get it out. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop this before I go blind. So, <laughs> yay me. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. Bye.